And we went up for the meeting on Friday. Ethan had left his little dinosaur there, bless him. So Alex was like um, delivering it because they found it up there. <laughs> oh, but we're like, mm -hmm. we're funny how kids are with the toys and they the attachment and don't want to lose them and things, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. All right. Let's. Right. No, no, no. Um, Where have you gone, Sue? I am trying to stream into the groups. Okay. As you do. And I, oh, okay. I hate iPads. I'm sorry. Right. Mm, share. Modern technology. Share to group. We have six people watching according to the live. Right. Well, we good. should be. Can someone check? Good, the af live? good afternoon to you all. John said hi. So we there. That's Facebook. John is on. Okay. Where are we? Oh, hello, Sue. I see no, you no, again. No. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I've got That's my short and shorter apron on. Short and shorter. Well, that's rude. I know it is. That's very that rude. Yeah, it yeah. is rude. Hmm. Do you reckon the bot or not? I don't know. Hi from the other room, so we know that's okay because it's Lee. <laughs> What's rude? Ah, Vicky. Vicky's gone. So the lady, Someone the person. Okay, mm. not you, John. Somebody left a comment that was rude. It's gone. Hello, Jan. Hi. How are you? <laughs> are you there? I didn't block her, so <laughs> who's here? Who's here and not saying hello? Mm -hmm. right. Afternoon, folks. We're so back. this is good afternoon. It's bank holiday weekend. Welcome to Short and Shorter's Cook Along. So we are actually doing some cooking today. Aren't we, Sue? We are. But what do you mean, well, actually? We've been cooking all day. But yes, yes we're actually doing proper cooking in this. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes look. I've got a saucepan ready with some minced beef in. Just saying. Just saying. I've got my oil ready. Okay. So should right. we tell the lovely people out there what we're making? Hi, Brenda. Go for it. Hi, Jude. Okay. Well, we are making a family favourite today, and it's panda wrap lasagna. So I'm not going to tell you all how to make a bolognese, a standard beef bolognese, because everybody tweaks their own recipe for a bolognese. I'm yeah. making mine child friendly. So there's a, a little bit of hidden onion, carrot, little bits of things like that. Yes, you did hear me say carrot. Don't tell Bob there is a bit of carrot. However, I buy passata for the sauce. I got my mixed herbs. I got garlic. So you can see now, I have done a little bit of prep. I've done my veg. Shh, don't tell Sue. Look at that face. Look at that face. Rude, rude. I've taken... My panda wraps out of the freezer, but they're still frozen at the moment. And Lee was like, they're not going to defrost in time. I said, trust me, by the time the bolognese is made and I put it together, oh, it will be ready. They are the best thing. Yes. My whole family actually like this recipe. And they have no idea that it's a keto recipe by switching pasta sheets for panda wraps but to be honest with you you could use any low carb wraps that are out there as a layer yeah. we just yeah. happen to love the panda ones because they really are low yep. and clean because they're made with panda so there's no gluten in them 
So again, hello, we can't, you know, it's just another winner in this house. And yeah, so make your standard bolognese and then my cheese sauce on top is cream cheese thinned with a bit of milk because hubby would love cream but i say no we'd have in milk <gasps> and then sprinkled a bit of cheese on top i know it's easy so where are you at now sue what are you doing i've just put the heat on my frying pan right well i'm going off taste as you do so my shallots are in the pan frying off I am making sort of like a chilli base bolognese. Oh, nice! Um, the guys at work did a, made a chilli at, at work, and I tried a bit. He did put a sugar in his. So I don't know why you put sugar in a chilli, but then probably to help set the tomatoes. But he used cayenne and paprika. So I'm going to put those in mine, plus a bit of onion granules. Oh, I've got two lots of onion granules, not mine. And I'm using garlic powder because why not? All I'm going to do is soften my shallots, bung the spice in, bung the mince in, a uh, bit of passata. And I tell you what I like about the pan for that. I got a nice round dish that I make my lasagna in, and I don't awesome. have to cut them, they just lay in awesome. nicely. Awesome. So do you cut your panda wraps, or do you roll them, or? I cut them, and then there's bits that I cut off, I put back in. Okay. Simple. Now there's always an argument, <laughs> I say argument, it's not argument, I should say an open discussion about what level of fat you need for your mince. It really is down to personal preference. Sometimes I buy 5%, sometimes I buy 10%. It depends on who I'm making it for and what I'm adding. So today, because I just felt like it, we're having 5% mince today, but there'll be enough fat, obviously it's some argue you don't get the beefier taste from the leaner mince but again it's personal choice and preference so because i'm using um i'll add the fat in to with the cheese on the cheese topping i don't do white sauce in between layers i don't do that do you sue uh, no oh come on i'm trying to get in my mince now nicely you I can see Sue is adding her spice. Oh, little bottles. Oh, you know. Right. I do like this um, lean mince. X. It's the finest range in one of the supermarkets I shop in. And on a minute. It's the Angus beef one I got today. Steak no, mince. It's pan outside. I think he is. Anybody else there so I can say hello to? Why Sue has left us. Wanna know anything about Sue? You wouldn't ask her if she was you. Ask me. Sorry. What Sorry. happened to the cooking cam? Um, too much interference, Lee. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to rethink that and try and figure it out. So, okay. You better not ask your questions now because Sue's back. You got your key? Okay. Well, no, I was being silly. I said, is there anything about Sue you'd like to know why she's not here? Fine. Wow. Love you. Bye, Lou. Bye. <laughs> right, my mince is in now. I 
I'm not going to lift my pan up. It's a bit heavy. I'll try, but as you can see, it's frying nicely. I don't know what percent mints I've got. I think mine's 12%. I don't know. Oh, it's and last time, out. they had a cheek to complain in this house last time I made this lasagna, which was only last week, so. I used 500 grams of mince and they turned around and told me it wasn't meaty enough. Can you believe that? Oh, that's just rude. So I today, know. just for them, I've got a 750 gram one today. I think my dish is going to be too big. Mm. You're going to be ready before me again now. I can see you come in. No, no, I see it's got to cook. Oh, Sandra, I meant to tell you. Snooker's on. <laughs> Are you being cruel? <laughs> I turned on the TV and put snooker on and I went to sleep. <laughs> I did it. Well, I've had a lovely visit from my grown-up daughter this afternoon, which was lovely. That's lovely. I've Unexpected. My grass. I've been grass trimming. I bet Sandra's going to say something rude to me. So I'm happy with my mince. So I'm just adding my passata. Are you using tin tomatoes or passata, Sue? Again, bolognese is one of those things, isn't it? Everybody has their own way of making it. Aye. To their own recipe. Sprinkle of mixed herbs in. You mustn't forget the mixed herbs with the bolognese. I just finished my pot, so I need to add them to the shopping list. Oops. I just bang in what I fancy. That's right, Jan. It is, isn't it? You know. And I just love it that my whole family like to eat this we're not having this tonight hubby and i are having a romantic dinner for two and we're having a cheese platter and meat cheese and meat platter so this is going to be um, for tomorrow. this is going in my freezer so that'd be another three mils so it's a good one that you can make and portion up and keep and i've got cottage pie for tonight yeah so I'm just going to let my um, bolognese simmer away be here now for five. And I just put this together, construct it all, and then leave it cool, and then I'll put it in the fridge <laughs> for tomorrow, take it out sometime before, and then put it in the oven and cook for about 45 minutes. No, Sandra, no, it's not that kind of platter tonight. And Alex was quite out. why are we having the nice cheese tonight when she's not here? Now, those of us who were in batch cook this afternoon will have a giggle over that because they know what we were talking about cheese. For that exact reason. Yeah, yes. I Right. Look how easy they are come out from the freezer. And I'll just, I can't put it in yet because I need a bit of sauce in the bottom. But as you can see, they fit nicely. Oh, actually, Mark doesn't put sauce in the bottom. He puts a wrap at the bottom. Who puts a wrap at the bottom? Mark. Yeah, and I do. So, don't you? No. No. I used to put sauce at the bottom. 
All right, okay. It's a wrap. Yes, these panda wraps are amazing. I oh, Lee, put sauce first. I usually do, but I'm doing it different. Uh, there you go. I'm taking out the wrap. Don't worry, I'll be putting sauce in first. I feel like I'm missing something though. What? I don't know. Who knows? Hmm. Look what I've been eating for, since Easter. Deliciously guilt-free eggs, chocolate eggs. Not many left, though. Not many left, look. Sue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got um some of those cheese bakes you know that we like to have with sausages sometimes lee and i these are marvelous oh, really really speedy gonzalez well you're just talking i'm doing well don't you let your bolognese simmer for like 10 minutes or so just to get the flavors developed dear uh mine has been simmering really yeah really I put my shallots in first and saute them first before I add the mince. Yeah, well, I did mine in the other pan and then I just transferred them in just to save a bit of time. So I'm using any soft cheese for the top layer. I'm just getting this prepped because I'm leaving my mince flavour develop and cook down a little bit more. I'm not in such a rush to get it in the oven as our Sue is. Uh. Yeah. This cheese though, has practically doubled in price since I've started buying it since I've been doing keto. Yep. Yeah, because I remember the cream cheese used to be oh what was it? Something like the cheap stuff was like 40 something eight. It's close yeah. to a pound now, isn't it? It's um it's all all right. now. Right, so Lee. Man in the nose. I'm sorry you can't see me layering it together, but even Sue didn't show you how she layered hers, did she? You know? Come on now, Sue. Just get a pseudo. So I've got my cream cheese. I've just put it into a jug for you. I'm giving it a bit of a mix. And I'm going to add a little bit of milk to it just to soften it and loosen it up. This is basically my top layer. You can put mustard in it, you can put salt and pepper, you know, you season it to your own personal taste, guys. It really is um, your dish. You tweak this to your tastes. So much cream cheese did you use? A whole lot. I used the whole tub. Yeah. But how big is my, my surface of my lasagna is a whole wrap, flat. So I got more surface to cover than you have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still going for it. Okay. I should do. I, I got a really lovely, nice cooker here from cooking earlier. I cleaned it. So I'm being able to be careful not to make much of a mess so I don't have to wash it all down as bad again. Right. So use my dish. I'm just going to put a little bit of sauce in the bottom just to keep the hubby happy. Yeah, Jan, Lee would agree with you. The bolognese simmers for hours. Oh, yeah. I was doing the proper bolognese, but... Yeah. 
got well, I've got one wrap going in. And then I can put my first layer of mints. That's two nice big. I'm going to see Jan. I'm um, hopefully keep him up yeah god oh it's our 30th wedding anniversary this year he deserves a gold medal for putting up with me this is my second layer going in i'm using not like in the cheese sauce as well yeah Absorb the juices so you go as nice and thick. You get less for murder. Oh, Dan, but you know what? Oh. Where's the fun in that? And then. So, this lasagna got three layers, so I'm happy with that. Minus two. Okay, I am. Mine is going up for six people, so to be fair, oh, platinum. Oh, bless you, Sandra. There we go. So that's what my lasagna looks like. Oh, three layers. There's the top panda wrap. Okay, do you see that, Sue? See how perfectly sized I'm sure Mark I sent him the size of my dish And he makes my panda wraps Fit the size of my dish <laughs> I'm, I'm sure 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 I'm to loosen it and then some cheddar on the top. Obviously, you don't want the sauce too thin, otherwise, it's just going to soak through. Now, I've got manchego inside the sauce, mm -hmm. and I'll put a little bit of uh, mozzarella on top. You like mozzarella, do you? You like the stringy cheese? On top, yeah. I've got manchego inside. Okay. Generally, with this, I just do cheddar on the top because then it gives that nice golden finish. measuring this guys i'm not counting the cheese because i'm not oh, eat, eating right. the whole thing i'm sharing it so my sauce is ready so you know i put just a little bit more love and care into mine so oh, that's why oh, <laughs> it's taking a little bit longer <laughs> Don't worry, Sue and I really do like each other. We can tease each other. Oh, and there you go. One full, I don't know if you can see, there's a cheese sprinkled on the top. Yeah. Yeah, Sue? 
one dish of pua love from the panda wraps to the bolognese putting it together and now we're going to cook it tomorrow I'm How gonna many... cook my... um actually do you know what i might just stick this in the fridge and cook it tomorrow um yeah. and then portion it up i'll get three portions out of this so okay i got three portions of curry earlier i got four mm -hmm. portions of brisket earlier oh god the cloth the ice cream to have tonight oh what's it like go and get one out to show us now please oh, is it gone firm or is it still soft scoop oh, i don't know gotta make it work I don't know. I'm saying nice things about you. How hardworking you are, and yeah, so thoughtful yeah. and considerate. I to make her work. <laughs> you can't hide from me. Yeah. Right. Mine serves three. Dan. Okay. So that's. A... So how long is that? See, that's not bad for three, actually. It's three decent portions. Right. There's the ice cream. Oh, it's um. Yes, it. Yeah, that that's that's staying out because that's rock hard. So, how long has that been in the freezer? Since I made it at lunchtime. There you go. Yes, um, Bridget. <laughs> that was the cottage cheese ice cream that she made in batch cook earlier, Bridget. Yeah. Oh, it was, oh God, it's so nice though. <laughs> she that got is peanut a butter, peanut it butter, and she did weigh it out. She I'm did weigh it out as portion controlled. Yep. Um, the anticipation, definitely, Dan. This one is worth waiting for. Um, it was um I put strawberries in it, uh, Bridget, with some peanut butter at the end, because why not? Yeah, but I don't see why you no, but again it's down to flavours and what you like, isn't it? Hmm. So I'll leave that out, cook the cottage pie off, have the cottage pie. Oh, I've got one portion of cottage pie. Actually, they look pretty big. This is my cottage pie. That looks a bit this... oh. Did you make that yourself? That's just rude. <laughs> That's just rude. I just love winding you up. You know that, don't you? Actually, the, see now that would be a portion just for Lee on his own. That would I I would share that. Look, but Lee would eat it all. He's a bloke and he's over six foot. I'm a yeah. woman and under five foot. Okay. I think it's yeah. probably two. It might be two. So, yeah. Well, that's so okay. That, that's dinner. Nice. Mm hmm. Have a nice cup of tea. Ah. So, we've got. Um, this to look forward to for later. Perlas. It's a Welsh blue cheese. Nice. Lee loves this. So this is part of our platter, meat and cheese platter later. What are you laughing at, Sue? Or trying not to laugh? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Really? And if I wanted some good old cheddar, what is what would you I know consider? Lee? She's putting the cheese back in the fridge. You don't want them cold. You want cheese room temperature. I know, I'll get it out after. We're not going to eat until six. And what yes. is... It needs time to come to room temperature. So, the other cheese that we're going to have, what do you think should be in the cheddar? Because it's Welsh cheddar and it's Welsh cheese. Bar, bar, black sheep. It's got... Oh, leeks. Oh, I was you give up sheep's oh. cheese leeks you know oh. leeks are low carb they're very good for you so sheep <laughs> <laughs> beat that <laughs> Bridget, oh Bridget. and i tell you what i made earlier guys <laughs> this I made in the batch cook earlier, so you are sheep. 
this is Sue is going to be making for the members this week and the team coronation chicken. And it's got an ingredient in it that you would never, ever think of putting in the coronation chicken. Okay, if you go on our website, you'll check the recipe, you know the answer. But who can tell me, do they know what fruit is in this as an alternative to sultanas? Lee couldn't tell, which I was surprised. No, no. No. He also didn't put enough in. Right, so this has been sitting, flavour developing for a couple of hours. I'm going to just taste it now. Oh. Just a little bit. Just another pre-taste. Just in case, you know, to see what it's like. Grapes? No. Try again. Too high sugar. It's nice, Sue. Why have I not made this before? I don't know. Uh, don't double dip. Thank you. I'm not. I got that little bit of crunch from the nut and the onion. No. Nope, not a berry. You will be surprised. Me too, Sandra. I'm keeping sure. Yeah, because you were there and you know the answer. Celery. No. But oh. celery, I think celery could work actually if you boiled it with the chicken. Yeah, but it wouldn't be sweet. Well done, Sarah. Oh, and the winner is who got it first? Helen and Sarah come in together. Rhubarb. Yes. Rhubarb. It definitely just, works. Just need the custard. Rhubarb and custard. Yeah. So if you want some fun and an after, all our members out there, Sue and the team, that's me too. But I'll be running late. So I'm going to do here's one I made earlier. Hence, I tried to do it today, but it won't last till Thursday. So Thursday, five o'clock, the team are making coronation chicken. It isn't sweet, though. Actually, we stewed the rhubarb with a little bit of sweetener beforehand. Jan, it's not sweet because we like it tart in this house. That's tart fruit now, sharp. Now, it's not tart, just in case. Oh, tart. Right? Tart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tart. But, uh, yeah, it's really good, actually. I'm really, really surprised because this coronation chicken is not something I would buy or eat previously as a sandwich filler. Would you, Sue? Oh, I used to. My mum used to make a good one. I used to like Did it. Did she? Yeah. Right, don't set me off. Why is that, Dan? Um, was that to do with the tart, you mean? You know, yes. Yes, we know, we know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, join Sue and the others if you want to laugh, you know. Enjoy some... Does anyone want to come clean my hob for me? Yeah. Ah, see, now, I've been very careful. My cooker, because I cleaned it earlier, is not too bad, Sue. Are you actually washing dishes Wash. while we... Oh, with the jacket potato. Okay, you've yeah. never thought of that. There used to be a company called Spudulike. Now I'm showing my age. Does anyone remember Spudulike? Yes. And get all the spuds with all the fillings. I used to love cauliflower cheese on my potato from Spudulike. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Dan, when is this happening? Thursday night in the members group, we have a Zoom at five o'clock, I think. Yeah. Is it five o'clock, Sue? Yeah. I have a feeling you're going to have a few more members of the team there. Chris, Dan, Chris, Gemma. Dan, Gemma, yeah. Oh. And I'll be running late. Yeah. Mm hmm. Chicken tikka or tuna. Mm, so you've started oh. something now, whispered you like. But the only thing is now, we can do the fill-ins now, but just don't have the potato. Or, actually, how about this then? We microwave a swede, take the top off, and then put the fill-ins on the swede. That would work, wouldn't it? Hi. Pop's clean. Thanks, guys. You're great. Oh, Dan. He's going, to, he's going to be in the sun with a pina colada. That's just rude. Oh, lovely, mate. Oh, I hope you have a good one. 
I don't think they reached down there with lots of cheese on top. We could, yes, could fry sweets. Yeah. I was just thinking I saw somebody the other day as all well, something on one of the um, channels where they um, put the yeah, sweet like a potato in the microwave, yeah. cut it off and creamed it up as a mash. Yeah. You can do it with scenario. Oh, well. Dan. Pembloid Harpes, have a good one. He's 50. Welcome to the 50 Club. Mm, you're a spring chicken. I'm not quite there myself yet. Not quite. Not quite. Mm -hmm. Well done, it depends who you talk to. <gasps> That's just I was, mean. I was, talking, I was talking to Sandra. I was talking about Sandra. She thinks you're already 50. Oh, but to be fair to her, I was talking about a gift I was buying myself for my 50th yeah. birthday. And it was my birthday at the time. So to be fair, I can understand why the mishap happened, you know. <laughs> Sandra, you're never going to live that down you, lovely. That <laughs> You know. Mm, yes. So I think I'm done, Sue. Are you? What's, what is on this week live cooking? Do you know? Come on, I always ask. Gemma's next Sunday, doing a coronation cake. Ooh. Uh, so I deleted email, but that's all I could remember. <laughs> I can't believe you uh, do that. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, I've still got it. So here you are, I can tell you. So Wednesday, Ella's doing pesto, kebabs and slaw. Mm. And Sunday it's Gemma doing coronation chicken, and Friday it's Q and A. There you go. Nothing on tomorrow because it's a bank holiday. Enjoy your bank holiday, guys. Having a chill yep. day, doing whatever you want to do. And then it's back to normal Tuesday. Are you sure Tuesday's normal? Are we ever yeah. normal? Well, no. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know. Okay, well, enjoy your day off tomorrow, guys. If you're not working, if you are working, stay safe, have fun anyway. And enjoy Sue and I, oh, what are we doing in a fortnight's time? Do you know what? I don't think we've planned anything. Requests well, may be taken. What would you like to see? I'm pretty sure we haven't planned anything. Sure. Wait one minute while I, um... oh, no, wrong one. I'm just yeah, trying to think. And you, Bridget. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, I think we need to decide what we're going to do. Okay, cakes with panda pastry mix. Hmm. Ooh, now. You can buy them. Yeah. We got chocolate panda mix cake, can we? Yeah, I do have, um, yeah, I've still got one portion of chocolate. Oh, here we are. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Low carb pina coladas. That ain't going to happen on a Sunday afternoon, Dan. Never in a month of Sundays. No. Nope. Um, 14th, there's no live. Oh. There isn't one because it's John and Nikki's. Of course, yes, there's a members do. meet up in there. Yeah. And then unfortunately the fortnight after is the London Festival, Keto Festival. So there won't be one then. So we're back in June. All right, folks. Oh wow. They can have a rest from us. I know. Don't don't, wow. all, like, don't all chew at once, yeah. Right. What's that? We won't talk about the keto cocktail creation a couple of years ago. That was a very fun Saturday night that we all had, wasn't it? But that was a long time ago. And we were all making different cocktails. Low carb, obviously, and sugar free. And, you know, as low alcohol as possible as a one off. Mm. So, folks, we'll see you in June. Okay, have a good May and see you in June. May the force be with you. Oh, I don't know. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> oh, give us strength. Sorry, Lee. Sorry. Mm. Bye, Jan. Bye, folks. Dan, Bye. 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 <laughs>